Hey everyone, Chris here from SoccerRoyHouse.com product reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 in the Neo Lime Total Crimson Orange Metallic Silver and Polarized Blue colorway. Alright guys, here it is, the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 in the Neo Lime Total Crimson Orange Metallic Silver and Polarized Blue colorway. This boot seems to be a reinterpretation of the original vapor that came out that the legendary Ronaldo wore in the World Cup in 1998. This does seem fitting since it is a World Cup year. It almost looks like they combined this boot's colorway with this boot's colorway to come out with the colorway for the new Nike Mercurial Vapor 9. Let's take a look at some of the cosmetics on this. We have the Neo Lime up here across the front and then across the middle it starts to fade into the polarized blue. Then you have the Nike swoosh here on the front which is that total crimson orange and then you have the words Nike here across the inside of the heel in that total crimson orange as well. You can also find that total crimson orange on the top of the tongue here and at, while we're looking at the tongue you can also see that it has the metallic silver across the whole tongue right there. Let's take a look at the inside of the boot here. You can see that the inside liner is a smooth synthetic and that the insole actually has uh, a little mini fact sheet on it. I'll leave a description below to a picture of that mini fact sheet so you can kind of take a look at what that says. And then uh, let's take a look at the outside of the boot again. Over here on the words uh, Nike, you can see uh, a couple of waves going across it, which pays tribute to the original design uh, that had the waves going across the whole uh, side of the boot right there. This boot is made out of a thin Tasian synthetic which is very soft, it's supposed to resemble a leather, but it's definitely a lot more durable than a leather. And then it has that golf uh, dimple texture instead of the smooth texture like we saw in the reflective pack uh, vapor. This boot does incorporate ACC technology, all conditions control, so you are gonna receive the same amount of control in wet conditions with this boot as you would in dry conditions. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom here. You have two pieces of carbon fiber fused together to about right over here and then you have just one layer of carbon fiber from here to here and then you can see the stud plate is uh, a clear green plastic which uh, the clear green looks really nice I, uh, I like how they did that kind of transparent like that it helps you kind of just kind of see the carbon fiber a little more it gives the boot a little bit of a better look. This boot is a narrow boot, not made for wide feet, so if you have wide feet, I'd stay away from this one. I'd go more towards a leather boot. If you like Nike, the Legend is definitely a good leather boot that Nike does. And uh, if you have a wide foot, I'd stay away from this one and kind of gravitate a little bit more towards the Legend. This boot weighs in at 6.6 .6 ounces, making it one of the lightest out there on the market. So if you're looking for a light one, guys, this is it. If you've never played with the Mercurial, then I definitely try it out. It's definitely something that you'll be impressed by. It is one of the lightest boots out there and does provide a unique touch and unique amount of control with the Tasian synthetic they use on it. And there it is, guys, the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 in the Neo Lime Total Crimson Orange Metallic Silver and Polarized Blue colorway. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 in the new colorway. Seeing as this boot pays tribute to the 1998 World Cup boot, sound off below. Let us know who do you think is going to take the World Cup this year. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, for this boot and many other boots and many other soccer supplies, please go to www.soccerwarehouse.com for all your soccer needs because it's the best website on the internet. Follow us on these if you get around to it. We'll see you later this week with another review on another great product.